Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are starting a new series. The trucks just didn't work, so I decided to build a new series, start a new series, and build a completely new factory. And this time, we are going to stick with it and hopefully get it going. And I have planned a bit for the future as well. So as you can see, I have a pretty big facility here that I have pre-built and it's almost empty, but not quite. We have some smelting going on over here and this is iron smelting. So we have, uh, what, 15 iron smelters set up here. They're currently running on tier one belts, which isn't fantastic, but uh, that will be upgraded, of course. So yeah. Now, if we run over here where we have the door, you will see that it's a pretty big facility that I built because that was the second floor. Down here, I'm not sure if I want to wall this off or not, but down here is going to be our trains when they come into the game. So I have pre-planned for that. And I happen to know that they need three and a half height to be able to come in and so we have given them four all right so that's done as well and ready for use now if we run up here here we have the iron smelting and then we can continue up and up here we have an huge floor as well and up here we'll have copper smelting. So that is the next thing that we need to set up so that we can get going. So we have copper smelting here and up here I made a little balcony so we can stand out here and enjoy the view. We have the space elevator there. We have our hub over there and we have some, what's it called? Concrete production there and a bit of Copper, you can see I've run the belt all the way from over there. I run it over there and I'm producing uh, wires. Now back there behind the arch, there's a bit of an iron setup where I'm producing a regular iron plate and uh, iron rods. So yeah. And on the other side over here, I have made a similar balcony. And we're going, of course, going to roof this off. And I actually think there's going to be one more floor where we're going to do steel smelting as well. So over here we have a balcony too, where we can stand and have a look out at the beautiful nature out there, which we're probably going to tear down the most of it, but that's life. All right. So, and I prepared for going up another floor. So, yeah. So pretty big facility so far and I do believe that we should have room for what oh I forgot how much many I calculated so this is three wide more or less so I think I calculated that we could have let's see one two three one two three four five five or six maybe seven uh, lines of iron smelting on this floor which is probably not going to be enough uh, but we'll have to live with that for now and we can always expand or something like that we can act we could actually build backwards a bit so that we have several lines of uh, several rows of smelting all right so over here at this end is where I plan to expand the facility next. So we will build another facility over here uh, where we will start making all our iron stuff, at least for now, and also copper. So yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good, but I am going to build out a little bit and then I will bring you back in so see you in a second guys
Alright, so that's a full line of copper smelting ready. Now we just need to hook it up and see if it works. So let me go do that real quick and I'll be back. Alright, the copper ore should be on its way any second now. Uh, we have the copper mines down there. That was the closest copper ore there is. So it's coming all the way over from over there, but it is on the belt down there, so that's good. And it should be coming up in the elevator anytime. Let's just have a look. Yeah, there it comes. While we wait for it, let's stick some walls on. I hate it that the, it sometimes just decides, okay, we placed a wall one way, so we probably want the next one the other way. That's a little bit annoying. Alright. So there it comes. And we have, it's unfortunately impure nodes that we have down there. So I've hooked up two impure nodes. We're producing 60 copper ore per minute. And there it goes down to the first one. That should produce. Yes, it is. Very good. I configure this one, yes I did. And that is getting some copper soon as well. There it comes. And yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this line of copper producers should start working. Hopefully including the weird one that didn't want to go in, this one. Let's have a look. Uh, it has produced and there's no copper in it in there, so it should go up and come out here. We'll see. Okay. Very, very nice. We are producing copper. Good, 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 good. All right, let's just stick this wall in here again before I forget. So I just realized that I haven't shown you what I have unlocked of technology. So let me show you that real quick. So we have unlocked everything in tier one, except for the optic scanner for nuts and berries. And we have also unlocked alternate screw recipe, which is really nice. I really like this re recipe. It's fantastic. So. Tier 2, I've unlocked everything except uh, yellow shards, 
which we could unlock. I have found one. So, yeah, that's a possibility. And in tier 3, everything is unlocked. So we've unlocked Coal Power, Logistics Mark 2, and Keterium Technology. And we do have the Blade Runners. And in tier 4, we've unlocked Steel pro Production, Improved Combat, and Logistics Mark 3. Uh, no, we haven't unlocked Logistics Mark 3 yet, but we uh, will do that relatively soon. So, what do we need to make our Sino Basher? Because that is quite nice. We need five modular frames, some wire, and two of the Sino Sappers, which we need a couple of reinforced iron plate for and we have that over here somewhere uh, let's have a look right there right there where is it there and we do have those as well and then we need some wire and grab right here so let's get that built so one Sino Sapper done, and then a Sino Basher. We just need one more Sino Sapper, and we have that right here. So let's get ourselves a Sino Basher done. Very nice. I'm not gonna equip it yet. It can be a little bit annoying to look at. Um, let's see what can we research. Uh, so I have analyzed sulfur. Very good. Percentage of sulfur in compounds is acceptable and can be extracted safely to create gunpowder-based explosives. The derived milestone can be found in Tier 4. Further research required for more precise use. Thank you, Ada. Let's see, what else can we research? We could research require. We could research raw quartz. I have found some raw quartz. Let's uh, grab one or the other. And so we have the quick wire there. So let's just research that. And let's begin that analysis. Very good. Oh, and we have the raw quartz right there as well. So very good. Okay, so also, uh, I have unlocked coal power and obviously we don't want to be using biofuel, so I have set up the uh, coal mining or coal power over here in the, uh, you might say, gorge base, where we have a few coal thingies, coal generators, and they are producing 450 megawatts of power, which isn't a whole lot, but it's uh, much, much better, better than, uh, uh, what's it called, mm. biofuel. So, yeah, but I think we should go explore a little bit and find some alternate recipes. So if I find some... Uh, some wrecks and get some alternate recipes because we need more we want to have as many of them as possible before we start building everything right so let's grab a few items that we might need we definitely don't need the copper ore so we have we basically have everything that we can get except a bit more copper wire There we go, and let's go have a look around, and we're going to need to equip the Sino Basher for that. So, we have a little advantage here, because we've started in this area before, and we have a general idea of where there are some wrecks. Oh, there's a berry, and there's some... This copper ore, don't care. So there's a wreck over here somewhere. 
believe it's up here. Where is it? There it is. And what do we have here? We have some wire, we have some motors, more wire, more motors, and anything else? Yeah, some reinforced iron plate. Oh, let's take that. And some more reinforced iron plate. Okay, so let's have a look at the drop pod. It's 40 megawatts. And of course, the one thing we didn't bring was fuel. Fantastic. Let's just... Oh, we didn't even bring fuel for that. Can we... No? Okay. Let me run back real quick and get some fuel. And uh, I'll bring you back in when we're over there. Okay, we're back over here, and I have set up the bio burners. And where we have the fuel, let's put it and stick some of it in there, some of it in there, and hook that up to the pod. And let's get our hard drive. Very good. Tear those down again now. And let's keep going. So, where else do we know that we have uh, poison? That's not really what we're looking for. We are looking for some wrecks. There's one over there, but I think that's the one I've already done because we found coal over there. And I've actually set up some coal mining over there as well. So, where else did we have a wreck? Oh, there's a power slug. Let's grab that while we're here. Go, thank you. And... Let's see... There are wrecks over in this area. I can't get down here, really. Let's see how we can. Oh, I don't believe there are wrecks down in this bowl, is there? Hmm. Oh, there's a wreck up there. Let's run this way. There's a power slug up there. We do need carapaces as well, so we can research them. And... We're going this way. Oh, Barry. There's a lot of poison up in this area. But there is also a wreck. Over behind here, I believe. Thought there was a wreck. And there's certainly something that is not friendly. Where'd it go? There it is. Where is it? Oh, there's two of them. Where's the other one? There it is. Alright. So, I thought there was a wreck up here. Just run out here. There's a thing here as well. A big boy. Whoa. Okay. Ah, crap. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Alright, I'll run back over there and get the stuff. And then I'll see you. Okay, we're back over here, and I have got the crate, but I don't know where that thing went over there. So let's try and kill it. Did you see that? I was riding it. <laughs> that was fun. Come on. Come on. 
attack. Who's stuck? I hope it died when it fell down there. Barry there. Right, let's uh, have a quick look while we're here. There's a slug up there. I don't see any wrecks around here. I guess we didn't have as big as a, an advantage as I rem as I thought because I don't remember all the where are uh, all the wrecks are. So that kind of sucks. There's a slug up there. Let's go that way. There has to be a wreck somewhere. We only found one. That kind of sucks. Uh, new wrecks up here? No. Where did where was that slug? Oops. Where'd the slug go? Where'd the slug go? We just saw it. It's up there. Oh, we just can't see it from here. Okay, fair enough. So let's go this way. No wrecks down there. Sure, there was a wreck over here somewhere. Maybe they moved it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Couple of minis. Go this way. I think the slug is up here. Somewhere. Isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. There's still a wreck that we're most interested in. I know there's a wreck over there, but that's a little bit far away right now. Oh, very. I'm sure there was a wreck over here somewhere. I guess my memory isn't that good. See a wreck there. There's a wreck up there, it looks like, I think. Hmm. I want wrecks. Come on. Give us a nice wreck. Mm, let's try running up here. And have a little berry. More berries. It's not really berries that we're looking for right now. Bricks. We are on the lookout for Rex. I don't see any, that's a bit far. Give it a shot. Oh, no damage. Oh, that's poison. That is poison. Hmm. Hmm. Can we get down there without getting hurt? Right? No, we can't. That'll hurt, yeah. There's some bacon. More bacon. And the power slug. Let's get that. Oh, 
I don't hear anymore. All right. Get the carapaces and get the slug. And there it. Hmm. Okay. Let's take you guys out. Wait. There you are. Bacon there. There's bacon there. And there. And is this? This is a cave. Uh, let's equip this. Let's get in here and have a look. I don't think I've seen this cave before. Alright. Right, can we get through now? No. to be able to get through, right? I hope we're not just getting through for this bacon. We did get the bacon, though. Nope. Let's uh, put our weapon back in hand, because that is probably going to be needed in here. Holy crap, there's a lot of spiders. Ah! Uh. That's a lot of spiders! Ow! Where are they? Come here. More? Oh, they drop organs now. That's cool. I hear one. There we go. That was a lot of spiders. Scared me. Okay, what do we have? We have some bacon. Some more bacon. Even more bacon. That's where we came in. We have some water flowing down through the rocks there. So very interesting. And we have a Mercer sphere. Okay. Not the most interesting cave in the world, but a lot of spiders. Man, they scared me. I really need to eat. Let's see, do we have? Yes. Let's get some nuts in us. Get that both up. And whoa, there was a bacon there. Almost rain ran right by it. I already got that berry bacon there. Hmm. There isn't much around here. Hmm. Okay. I think I will uh, explore a bit more in between episodes, try and find some hard drives, and then I will see you next time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.